guys, let's go ahead and start with the warm up. Last class we covered logarithmic logarithm, and we practiced switching from exponential form to logarithmic form and from logarithmic form to exponential form. So go ahead and work these six problems for your warm up, and we'll go over them in a minute. Okay, let's take a look at our warm-up. For number one, you start with 5 squared equals u. So to put that in logarithmic form, that's going to be log base 5 of u equals 2. Remember, logarithms always equal the exponent. For number two, you start with log base b of 8 equals 3. So in exponential form, that's going to be b cubed equals 8. For the last four you were solving, so you have two ways of doing that. You could either put them into exponential form and solve, or you could use your graphing calculator. For number three, it's saying log base 10. Remember, if the base isn't written, it's understood to be base 10. So log base 10 of 100 equals what? So that is 10 to what power equals 100, and that is x equals Now the way you could have done it is with your calculator, using the change of base form, which would have been log of 100 divided by log of 10, and that should have given you 2 as well. So we have two ways of doing these. For number 4, that's going to be the log base 2 of 1 over 32 equals x, which means 2 to what power equals 1 over 32? Well, remember, 2 to the fifth equals 32. So I need to flip that. I need to make the numerator become the denominator, which means that x is going to be negative 5, because negative exponents tell us to flip. For number 5, this is log base 9 of 3 equals what? So 9 to the x equals 3. Well, hopefully you're thinking that the square root of 9 is what equals 3, and to write the square root as an exponent, that would be x equals 1 half. And for number 6, that's log base 3 of negative 2 equals what? So 3 to what power equals negative 2? Is there any exponent that will make a positive number become negative? The answer to that is no. So there's no solution. Okay, next we're going to look at your homework, so go ahead and get that out.
Okay, the first page you had was page 408. You had numbers 1 through 25, every other odd, 27, 28, and 33 through 39. So for number 1, the direction says write the logarithmic equation in exponential form. So for number 1, we have the log base 4 of 64 equals 3. So to write that in exponential form, that would be 4 cubed equals 64. For number 5, we have the log base 32 of 4 equals 2 fifths. In exponential form, that will be 32 to the 2 fifths equals 4. For number 9, 13, and 17, it says write the exponential equation in logarithmic form. Well, for number 9, we start with 5 cubed equals 125. So in logarithmic form, that would be the log base 5 of 125 equals 3. For 13, we have 6 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 36. So in logarithmic form, that is log base 6 of 1 over 36 equals negative 2. For 17, you have e to the x equals 4. We'll talk about the value of e more next class. Feel free to do some research on yourself if you're interested. It's kind of like pi where it has a set value. But to write that in logarithmic form, that's going to be the log base e of 4 equals x. And for those of you who may be checking your answers in the back of the book, when you have log base e, that's what we call a natural log. So that would be ln 4 equals x. Natural log is when you have log base e. For 21, the directions say evaluate the function at the indicated value of x without using a calculator. So you have f of x equals log base 7 of x. And you're supposed to find that when x is equal to 1. So now what you have is f of x equals the log base 7 of 1. If you wanted to rewrite that in exponential form, that would be 7 to the f of x, which is your unknown, equals 1. Therefore, f of x is equal to 0. Next is 25. 25 says g of x equals log base a of x. And you're supposed to solve that when x is equal to a squared. Which means you're saying g of x equals log base a of a squared. If you wanted to change that to exponential form, you would be saying that a to the g of x, that's your unknown, equals a squared. Well, if a to some power needs to equal a squared, then that power must be 2. So g of x is equal to 2. Okay, number 27. 27 says use a calculator to evaluate the function at the indicated value of x. And you have f of x equals log base 10 of 4 fifths. And the 4 fifths took the place of the x. So you can use change of base here. You're supposed to be using a calculator. So change of base would say log of 4 fifths. Be sure you remember your closed 
parentheses divided by log 10. Or, of course, the calculator is already in base 10, so you can just plug this in and go. And you should get negative 0 0.097. Remember, it told you to round to three decimal places. For 28, you have f of x equals the log base 10 of x when x is equal to 12.5, which means you're going to be solving the log base 10 of 12.5. Remember, this calculator is already in base 10, so when you use that, you should get the log of 12.5 to be 1.097. Three decimal places. Then for 33 through 39, you are matching to the graph. You should have used your calculator. If you need to go back and do these with my calculator, please do, please do so, because I want you to take a look at these graphs. The 33 is C. 34 is F. 35 is D, 36 is E, 37 is B, and 38 is A. And the last one from this page is 39. And for 39, we have F of X is equal to the log base 4 of x. And here it says find the domain, x-intercept, and vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function and sketch its graph. So using a graphing calculator, I'm going to type in log of x divided by log of 4 I'm just going to use that change of base. Log of x divided by the log of 4. Go ahead and do that in a graphing calculator so that you can see it. And for this one, you should have found that the domain is 0 to infinity. No, you didn't have to find the range. The x-intercept is 1, and it has a vertical asymptote. Remember, x equals zero. If you remember, x equals zero is going to be your y axis. And to review the definition of asymptote, that is a line that your graph gets closer and closer to without ever touching or crossing. Okay, so that's it for your homework. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Page 415. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Page 415. Numbers 9 and 10. Flip there in the book. Okay, 9 and 10 said evaluate the logarithm using the change of base formula. So for number 9, you have the log base 3 of 7. Change of base would tell you to write that as log of 7 divided by log of 3. And you have to be sure that you close parentheses or you will get the wrong answer. Here you should have gotten 1.771. And then for number 10, that's said to find the log base 7 
of 4. So again, you're going to want to write it and change the base, which is log of 4 divided by log of 7. Here you're going to get 0 0.712. Okay, so now that's it for the homework from the last class. We're going to go ahead and move on to logarithms. So get some stuff out so that you can take some notes. We're going to be covering the properties of logarithms.